And welcome to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show. We've got a different guest for you every week, as you know, somebody that we think is important in the community that we uh, want you to get to know a little bit better. And today we've got Tony Stuckin from TCS Phone Systems and Service. How's Tony today? Fantastic for a Monday. Good. So this guy's a genius in a couple of things. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. Huh? Probably. Uh, in IT, I mean, IT and networking, you're brilliant at and networking you're amazing you might be the best networker i've ever met in my life getting to know people and making sure people know who you are and stuff like that but uh so we were having a conversation and i found out tony was at the pentagon on 9 11. so i said we got to get you on the spotlight show and talk about that so thank you for coming in today Oh, it's fantastic for you to have me. All right. So uh, you, you stay extremely busy in the community. Uh, this networking thing you've got going on is pretty amazing. You're on the board at the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. I think you're the president of your business networking chapter. So mm -hmm. you, you kind of have your hands in a whole lot of everything these days. Yeah, my plate's almost full these days. Yeah. But I love giving back to the community. It's just uh, something that... It's a small community. Everybody thinks that the lake is uh, busy, 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 you know, with all the tourists and whatnot. Whenever things calm down, it's uh, it's nice to see the family. It's it's actually really family oriented. Yeah. So I like to give back as much as I can. Uh, it's kind of I work for a small company, so I've kind of built my uh, built my perception of, you know, and I guess my credibility down here on my own. That, But that has, you know, I mean, when you can do it one-on-one -on -one with people, it carries so much more weight than, you know, what anything else really, because the people get to know who you are. And that's the value of networking. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Right? So uh, you are a Missouri boy. Right. Yep. You were born in the area Jeff City, I think. Yep. Right. Uh, way, way, way back in the day. Thanks for that. But then you've been all, <laughs> then you've been all over the world. I mean, then you, uh, you know, when you were, you know, old enough, joined the service. And I think you were in South Korea for a while. And as we mentioned, the Pentagon and everything like that. So how did that come about where you joined the service? So I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do as far as going to college and uh, the financials and everything else. I didn't want to waste money if I didn't know which direction I was going to go. Yeah. So I looked at the benefits of going to the military and uh, just looking to open doors. And my hometown is Westphalia, Missouri, uh, 285 people. I was ready to, uh, I, was, I was, had too much ambition. So I wanted to go out and uh, explore the world. Yeah. And it opened so many doors for me. So I, I, decided, I decided to join the, the army um, actually in between my junior and senior year of high school. So I signed up and I was in a delayed entry program and uh, left in July to go to basic training the, the following year. Yeah. In July to go to basic training. And uh, I cannot look back on it. it it's, it was a fantastic decision yeah. because of all the places I got to go and just um, opening up to the world really, you know, to just see how everybody else lives and then the people you meet across yeah. the world. It's just amazing. Yeah. And across the world, I mean, you served in, I think, South Korea, right? Yeah, I was in South Korea for a full year. Uh, they give you an option to come back halfway through. Yeah. But I decided just to stay because I got more vacation whenever I got back <laughs> before I had to go uh, to my next duty station, which which was, uh, you know, Washington, D.C. at the Pentagon. Yeah. So what was it like? I mean, you're uh, in South Korea. I mean, that's right there on the border, man, with North Korea. They've got a demilitarized zone and all yeah. that stuff. I mean, that's a pretty dangerous situation there. Yeah, I was actually stationed at Camp Humphreys, which is like halfway down the peninsula. Yeah. But we had three uh, duty stations uh, right on the DMZ. And we'd fly choppers for, we call them rat runs, it's ration runs. Uh -huh. We'd fly rat runs up, you know, a couple times a week for those guys that had to stay up there right on the DMZ. Right. Hey, so you got to see it up close and personal, yeah. by golly. You got to see both sides. <laughs> so, and then I think you came back to the Pentagon after South Korea. Is that right? Right. Correct. Okay. Correct. So, and then you happen to be there. I mean, they're, you know, after the fact, you know, there, there might be a million people that say I was at the Pentagon during, I, but you actually were there. I was there right? active duty. Yeah. yeah, that morning. That day. That day. I okay. was in uniform, active duty. So tell us the story. Where were you at? What so, happened? So what happened that morning was, uh, you know, the plane hits in New York. Yeah. And uh, I happened to call my mother and just tell her, hey, you know, this is what's going on. And uh, uh, she wasn't at work, so she was at home cleaning. And I called her at home and I was like, hey, plane hit the, hit the trade center. She's like, what's that? I was like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, but how's everything going? Boom, boom, boom. So... 
Uh, the second plane hits, you know, we had a short conversation. Second plane hits and I call her and I was like, hey, I want you to record this. I'm in a top, top secret uh, facility, you know, inside, You're... Inside, inside the Pentagon, I'm inside of a vault in the top secret uh, wow. world. So I can't bring any media out. So I, I asked her to find a VHS tape, start recording. Back in the day, right? right? Absolutely, right. yeah. <laughs> um, so once uh, she's looking for a tape and whatnot, and uh, I went over and started talking to some of the other guys in the uh, tech control, uh, where all of our technology and everything comes in, it's like our hub. I was talking to those guys over there, and uh, I was like, you know, what happens if they come and hit us? And they're like, we're not a target, we're only five stories high, you know? So we kind of just blew it off. We knew that things were going to get crazy because of New York. Sure. You know, the second plane has already hit. Because you know uh, it's an attack we, at this point. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody's, everybody's, you know, at high alert. So uh, communications were vital. But uh, I had my arm on top of somebody's uh, cubicle. And about that time, I, I feel the boom. And I was like, that felt like a bomb. I just told my mother to watch the news, <laughs> you know? So I try, I run back to my office and I call her and I was like, hey, uh, I'm just letting you know right now, I'm alive, I'm okay. I don't know what's gonna happen next. And she's like, what, what, what? As I'm hanging up the phone. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't speak to her again until uh, I think it was like five o'clock that wow. day. So uh, we got all of our uh, people together, obviously, and uh, we had to uh, treat it as we were being overrun. So we had to use incendiary grenades and whatnot and destroy a lot of equipment um, Ooh, so wow. that if it was you know, an invasion, we don't want to give up any of our secrets. Wow, so, that's the first time I've ever heard that. Yeah, Makes well, sense though, right? Right, right. Oh my gosh, okay, so we're talking with Tony Stuken. TCS phone services, IT genius here, uh, and at the Pentagon 9-11, we'll continue talking about all of that when we come back here on Lake TV Spotlight Show. Your time on the water is limited and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. It's our most protective wash yet. Introducing the Quick Car Ceramic Wash. It's an industrial grade polymer solution with ceramic nanotechnology, resulting in high end advanced scientific protection of your vehicle's finish. The Quick Car Ceramic Wash. Try it on its own or with the monthly unlimited wash club today. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time. In Jefferson City and Osage Beach. Looking for blinds, shades, shutters, drapes, or bedroom makeovers? On a budget? You need Budget Blinds and Lorry. Bring your ideas to us, or let our design consultants help you create the perfect look for your home. Because Budget Blinds is nationwide, our collective buying power enables us to search many major brands to bring you the blinds, shades, shutters, and drapes you want for less. Budget Blinds. Call us for a free consultation. Budget Blinds. The best in custom blinds and window coverings. Welcome back to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show. We're talking with Tony Stuken, TCS Phone Systems and Services, IT guy. You put all that together. Hopefully we're going to have time to talk about that because that's all pretty amazing too. But when we took a break, we were talking about you being at the Pentagon during 9-11, talking to your mom, you get hit, the plane hits, and you guys didn't know what was going on. You thought maybe it was an invasion. You start blowing stuff up so you don't lose secret information, right? Right. And so what happened from there? So we, uh, we get everybody out of our vault. We run out of the building. And as I'm running out of the building, I see uh, two, uh, two guys from Walter Reed Army Medical uh, in DC. They're running up with a litter and they didn't know the building. So I told my boss, I was like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm going back in with them. I'm accounted for, I'm alive. I'm going back in with them, just letting you know. So I showed them exactly where the courtyard was. Uh, there was a Marine named Wallace that I met up with. Those guys started doing triage for people that could let, that could help themselves out. Yeah. They started doing triage. Um, there's a Marine named Wallace. I haven't, I've never talked to him again, but he's like, you need a battle buddy. I was like, I sure do. Let's go. We went back in and uh, I think there was 14 of us and we yeah. got 35 people out alive that wouldn't have made it out. You, you got 35 people out that 14 wouldn't have... of us went back in and we got 35 people that would not have made it out alive. Wow. The smoke, the smoke was just, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. Everything was by feel. Wow. 
So you had to reach and see if they had vital signs and this and that, and uh, you had to be the judge and jury of who's going to make it and who's not. You know? right. If you know they're not going to make it, you have to keep moving. That's yeah. what we were trained for. That's a tough, tough decision to make. Oh, yeah. Like you said, you're trained for that. Right. Do you, does any of that ever haunt you? Does Absolutely. It, yeah. Absolutely. That's something that you can't just erase it. No. No. You really can't. But I'm glad I was... I'm glad I was there because of the situation. Yeah. A lot of my friends uh, that are, were active duty, they they ran. It's it's you know uh, what do they call that? Fight or flight. Fight, fight or flight. Yeah. Exactly. There was a lot of flights, but uh, I'm glad I went back. Yeah. Uh, it it would haunt me more if I wouldn't have. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Oh man, that's that's amazing. So 35 people alive that yeah. night because you and uh, some others decided to go back in. That is, now this Wallace guy, you've never hooked back up with him. They, we didn't have social media back then. Right. All I knew, he was a Marine, he, he, his last name was Wallace. I, I saw, that's what I called him. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Wallace, Wallace, I need help, I need help. Uh, I had a backpack on, my gym backpack, and it had uh, two sets of gym clothes in it, because yeah. I worked out at the Pentagon. So all we had is my, my two t-shirts that we wrapped around our faces. Wow. We didn't have any respiratory uh, you know, masks or anything else like that. Yeah. So fighting through that uh, black smoke was, was tough. I and finally, was. We, had, we, both, we were both struggling. We were on the third level. We were both struggling. So we finally had to like, find our way back out. Yeah. I mean, all the drywall, the walls, and all, everything's blown out. So you're just crawling through rubble. If you ever ran into Wallace again, do you think that would be an emotional reunion? Oh my reunion? God, yes. Yeah. Oh my God. I would like to be there for that. <sighs> that would be. You know what, if he, if, he, if he listens to this or if he sees this, definitely contact me. Oh my gosh. When that, and if he does, we need to get you yeah, right back on absolutely. here. Yeah, absolutely. put that on TV, that's pretty amazing. Okay, so you survive 9-11, you help save a bunch of lives, then you decide to come back home, uh, back to Missouri. What brought you back to Missouri after uh, you know, being top secret at the Pentagon. So I, I took my, my five-year enlistment. Once I finished that, I started working for BAE Systems. Mm -hmm. And I was staffed uh, with, with the government as a um, consultant, IT consultant, network engineer, uh, using my top secret clearance. So I worked with, uh, I actually was stationed with, um, staffed with National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. So uh, all the... Uh, all the video you see of the troops and pictures and everything else like that. Yeah. It was my job to get that data down to our analysts so that they can, you know, let's just say, see what's going on in the world. Right. But it, they also have PR folks that uh, release it to the media mm -hmm. so that, you know, folks like you, civilians, can see what's going on. Supposedly. You know? Right. Yeah. Right. It's it's <laughs> definitely proofread. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's it's uh, that's that's what we use for intelligence. Yeah. But uh, that also brought me into working with the CIA and NRO and uh, DIA, FBI, the whole nine. So wow. we work we work hand in hand now. We're all the three other entities. Yeah. So we work hand in hand to uh, get to share knowledge. I'm right? sure the stories you could tell that you can't tell. Right. right. Yeah. So I worked with them for a year in uh, in um, in DC, and then I transitioned back to St. Louis. I worked in St. Louis uh, up until uh, I was like 2017. Mm -hmm. Uh, I found out my grandmother, she lives in Jefferson City, she lived in Jefferson City, she, uh, she had dementia really bad and she didn't want to go to an old folks home. So I decided to you know, quit my job, sell my house and I moved in with her. So I went from a six figure job to a little, little mini sales job <laughs> that was flexible enough to let me work from home. Right. Okay. And, well, we only have uh, a minute left. So you have taken all of that and you're now with TCS phone systems, mm -hmm. IT work. Uh, and apparently that's exploding in this area. It, yes, yes, it definitely is. So my company is based out of Jefferson City, uh -huh. but I live down here at the lake. Okay. So that's why I am always around. Right. You know, and we can offer any services you need. So all the way from small business to large business. I mean, I, I deal with people that have two phones or if they want us to do all of their networking and all their phones, uh, their backups, the whole nine. That can be for anything from two phones all the way to like a state tech. Uh, state tech is one of my customers. Yeah. Quaker Window Products is one of my customers. I mean, we can handle it all. We yeah. do. We do hospitals, uh, Mid America Bank. We can, we do banks. We do we do everything. Big companies, little individuals, and all that stuff. We can. Absolutely. We can. We have a solution for them. There you go. Tony Stuken, TCS Phone Systems and Service. Wish we had more time. We could talk for like about 10 hours, but thank you for joining us here on the Spotlight Show today. Thanks for having me, Chris.